Hello, hello, hello and welcome to yet another video proudly brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and I'm so happy to be with you my friend. I know like I know like I know that God will surely bless you. God is such a good God and He wants to bless you my friend and He wants to come through for you. And you know sometimes my friend we find ourselves in situations where we feel like we're all alone, where we feel like everybody has turned on us, where we feel like it's almost game over because we're alone. But can I tell you something my friend? If God is on your side then you're on the winning side. If God is on your side then you've got the majority. So I want to tell you something, if God is on your side then you are winning, you are set to go. So if it feels like to you today that uh, people have left you, that people have turned against you, that people have walked away from you and you're all alone, don't worry. God is with you and He said in His word, He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. You just have to trust and believe and it shall surely come to pass. My friend, today I want to pray for you powerful prayers from Psalm 27. This is one of my favorite Psalms and I'm sure those who know me, those who are in the ministry who will watch this video, they know and they can testify that I love to pray this psalm. So Psalm 27, we're going to be praying this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read verse for verse. And as we read a verse, we pray. As we read a verse, we pray. As we read a verse, we pray. And I trust and believe that even as we pray all the verses of Psalm 27, God shall surely do something mighty in your life. Are you ready? I hope you're excited and I hope you're ready to be touched by God. On this channel, we always begin by lifting up the name of Jesus. So take your cell phone, take your device, go somewhere private where we can just seek God, where we can press in and touch the hem of His garment and you shall surely receive your blessing. Are you ready? Are you there? Okay, let us begin. Now my friend, begin by lifting up the name of Jesus. Just tell Him who He is to you. Tell Him who He is to you. Tell Him how much He means to you. Just lift Him up. Let's let the praises go up and I believe that even as the praises go up, the blessings will come down. Are you ready? Father, you are the Alpha and the Omega. My God, my Father, my Daddy, my Lord who never leaves me, who never forsakes me. Lord, I thank you that you are always with me. I thank you that you are always with my dear friend. Lord, I thank you that you are infinite and you are beyond all impossibility. Nothing anywhere is impossible for you. I thank you, Lord, that you hold the universe in the palm of your hands, Lord. Lord, I thank you that you are with us and you'll never leave us. I thank you that you're with me, even as I'm praying over here in studio and you're with my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, I thank you for your blessings. I thank you for your mighty blessings. I thank you for your blessings that will manifest in the life of my dear friend who's watching this video. I thank you that my dear friend who's watching this video is going to go from glory to glory in the name of Jesus and they shall never be held back. Lord, today we gather together and we want to pray Psalm 27 prayers. Lord, unlock the power in this scripture, even as we pray, Lord, that it will come to pass. And Lord, I pray that even as we pray the verses in accordance with Psalm 27, and I believe this was one of the Psalms that King David wrote. Lord, as he prayed it to you, Lord, we gather together, both myself and my dear friend who's watching this video, and we say that we're gonna pray this prayer to you. Lord, let your anointing, let your power, let your presence be manifest even as we do this, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' name. Precious Holy Spirit, I welcome you and I give over to you. Take over control, Lord Holy Spirit. Lead me, guide me, show me the way that I should go. And Lord, I pray that you will touch my dear friend who's watching this video, Lord Holy Spirit. Touch my dear friend and do a miracle for the glory of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. God is amazing. God is wonderful. God is gracious. God is glorious. And He's full of mercy. He is full of mercy. He always has mercy. What does it mean when I say He is full of mercy? It means where well, we've done wrong and we deserve to be punished. God has chosen not to punish us. He's chosen to have mercy on us. And He's chosen to have mercy on you. Maybe you've done wrong in your past. Maybe you're regretting it. But I want to tell you something. The fact that you don't want to do that anymore, the fact that you've turned away from it and you want to turn to God, it means that God has chosen to have mercy on you and your life will never be the same again. All you have to do is believe and you shall surely receive in Jesus name. Okay, now we're going to begin from Psalm 27. If you've got your Bible with you, uh, take it out and begin to read. I'm going to be reading from the ISV version. Um, and a lot of people have asked me, do you like the ISV version? Why do you always use it? Um, actually, it's on my phone. 
and uh, it's much easier to read than the King James version. You know, some of the words in King James are very hard to pronounce, but with the ISV version, it's really, really nice. It's just simple, plain English. But anyways, let's begin. Verse one: The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom will I be afraid? My father, my father, I pray to you with my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, we pray, be our light and our salvation. Remove all fear, Lord, from the equation. Lord, be the strength of our life, Lord. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, remove all fear for anyone. Let us just trust in you, knowing that you will come through for us mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. And I give you all the glory. Verse 2. Those who practice evil, my enemies and my oppressors, come near me to devour my flesh. They stumble and fall. Lord, let all those people who are coming against us, let all those evil spirits who are coming against us, those evil powers and all those things that are trying to come against us, let them stumble and fall. Lord, I pray, let the ground shake under them so that they fall, so that they don't succeed in their evil plans. I pray this in the name of Jesus and I give you all the glory. Lord, I pray all those people coming against my dear friend's life, my dear friend who's watching this video, all those evil spirits, all that evil, let the ground shake under them. Let them stumble and fall. Let nothing that they have done succeed against my dear friend, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, all the weapons that they've fashioned against us, let those weapons never stand, Lord. And all words of jealousy, words of curses that have gone up against us, Lord. We condemn those words right now in the name of Jesus. We break them in the name of Jesus. Verse 3. If an army encamps against me, my heart will not fear. If war is launched against me, I will even trust in that situation. My father, my father, both myself and my dear friend who's watching this video, we've made a decision. We have made a decision, no matter how it might look, no matter how the situation might look, we choose to have faith in you. We choose that we will not fear because we trust in you. We believe in you. We believe in your deliverance working power, Lord. Lord, even if war is launched against us, Lord, we trust and believe that even in that situation, you will come through for us in Jesus name. Verse four, I have asked one thing from the Lord. It is what I really seek, that I may remain in the Lord's temple all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. My father, my father, we ask you, Lord, both myself and my dear friend who's watching this video, Lord, we ask you, keep us in your temple, keep us in your secret place, keep us in that place of divine encounter, keep us in that place of constant presence lifestyle all the days of our lives. Lord, let us know. Let us trust that you'll never leave us. Keep us there, Lord. Don't let us backslide. Lord, if we try to hold on to you, we are weak and we can end up letting go. But if you hold on to us, we know that you'll never let go. Lord, I pray that you'll hold on to us. Keep us close to you, Lord, in your presence, in your secret place. I pray this in Jesus' name. Verse 5. He will conceal me in his shelter on the day of evil. He will hide me in a secluded chamber within his tent. He will place me high on a rock. My Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, conceal me, conceal my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, keep us in all the situations. Keep us hidden from all evil. Don't let any evil see us. Conceal us in your shelter, Lord, in your secret place, in the day when trouble will try and strike, in the time when pestilence, in the time when attacks will try and come. Lord, let us be so hidden in you that those things will bounce and fail to work. I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, keep us safe, Lord, and raise us up so high, Lord, that the mighty waters will not be able to reach us and swipe us over and wash us away. I pray in the name of Jesus. Verse 6. Now my head will be lifted up above my enemies, even those who surround me. I will sacrifice in his tent with shouts of joy. I will sing and make melodies to the Lord. Lord, I pray for both myself and my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, I pray, even as we are in agreement, Lord, myself and my dear friend who's watching this video, 
Lord, lift us up above all those enemies who tried to make us fail. Lord, whenever people attack us, wherever evil people attack us, whenever they attack us, Lord, I pray every time they attack, let us have even more progress. Every time they try and set us back, let us go forward. Let us get more progress. Lord, every time they hit us, let us get hundredfold increase, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every time they try and push us down, let us go hundred times higher. I pray in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 7, hear my voice, Lord, when I cry out. Be gracious to me and answer me. Lord, I pray that you will hear my voice and the voice of my dear friend who is watching this video. Lord, I pray that you will hear our voice, Lord. Be gracious to us and answer us. When we call out to you, be gracious to us and answer us. Never leave us, never forsake us. Never leave us in a place of helplessness, but always come through for us. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Verse 8, my mind recalls your word. Seek my face, so your face, Lord, I will seek. Lord, both myself and my dear friend, right now, we make a choice. Both myself and my dear friend watching this video, we make a choice to seek you, God. We make a choice to press through, to press in and to touch the hem of your garment. And we say that we are not going to allow ourselves to be shaken. No matter what it may look like, we are going to believe, we are going to trust in you because you surely come through for us and you never leave us. You said, Lord, seek my face. Our hearts are set. Our minds are set. We will seek your face, God, in the name of Jesus. Verse 9, do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help, therefore do not abandon me or forsake me, God of my salvation. My Father, my Father, I pray for both myself and my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, you have been with us this far. Lord, we pray, do not leave us, do not forsake us in all these situations that we find ourselves in. Do not leave us and do not forsake us, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, you are our help and our salvation. You are the one in whom we trust. We look to you. We look beyond all the physical, carnal mind and reasoning and we look to you through your Holy Spirit and we trust in you. We believe in you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, you are the God of our salvation. It is because you sent your Son to come and die for us that we can receive this salvation, this glorious salvation through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We love you, Lord Jesus, and we receive what you did for us. We receive what you did for us on the cross openly, Lord. Lord, we partake of your communion, Lord, openly in Jesus' name. Verse 10, though my father and my mother abandon me, the Lord gathers me up. My friend, this is so powerful. Though my father, even your own father and your own mother can forsake you, but God can't forsake you. When they abandon you and everything is messed up, God will gather you up and he'll stay with you. He'll bring back everything together into one piece. God is not the one who causes problems in your life. It's the devil. It's the devil who causes problems in your life. The Bible says that the devil comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. But God comes. Jesus came so that you can have life and life more abundantly. Therefore receive that life in the name of Jesus. And now I pray for you. I pray for you. According to Psalm 27 verse 10. Even though people may leave you, God will be with you. God will never leave you. God will never, ever, 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 ever forsake you. It's not possible. It's not possible because the word of God says that he can't leave you. He can never forsake you. It says in Psalm 27 verse 10 that even though your father and your mother, your own biological father and mother may abandon you, the Lord will gather you up. So Father, I pray. I pray for both myself and my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, never leave us, Lord. When people reject us, when the hurt and the pain come, Lord, when we are rejected by people, let us always know that you are with us to gather us up, Lord. You will never leave us. You will never abandon us. Let us always know that we can enter into your presence, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' name. Verse 11, teach me a way, Lord. Lead me on a level path because of my enemies. My Father, my Father, teach me your way, Lord. Help me to walk in righteousness. Help me to be obedient to the voice of your Spirit. Help my dear friend who's watching this video to be obedient to the voice of your Spirit. Help us, Lord, even as we walk, even as we choose to walk in your ways, Lord. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Even as we choose to follow you, help us, Lord. 
Help us to walk righteously, Lord, and in line with your word, in line with your, what your word says, and in line with the guidance and the leading of your Holy Spirit. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us to walk a righteous path without sin, without acts of sin, so that we will not open the door to evil to come in and to cause mess, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' name. Verse 12, do not hand me over to the desires of my enemies, for false witnesses have risen up against me, even the one who breathes out violence. Lord, when enemies, when people, when the devil, when all these things try and come against us, Lord, do not hand, do not hand us over. Do not hand both myself and my dear friend who's watching this video. Do not hand us over to the attacks of the enemies. But Lord, let us trust you. Let us just be able to trust you and let us stay with you. Keep us close to you, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, when false witnesses come up against us, when people come up against us speaking lies, saying all sorts of things, Lord, be our vindicator. Be the vindicator of my dear friend who's watching this video. I pray this in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 12. Do not hand me over to the desires of my enemies, for false witnesses have risen up against me, even the one who breathes out violence. Verse 13. I believe that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. My Father, my Father, I pray for both myself and my dear friend who's watching this video, Lord. Lord, I pray that we will see your goodness while we're still alive. I pray that we will see your blessing while we are still alive, Lord. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, let us taste and see that you are good. Let us experience the goodness of you, Lord. Your goodness, your faithfulness, your blessing, your supply, your divine supply while we are still alive, Lord. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Verse 14, wait on the Lord. Be courageous and he will strengthen your heart. Wait on the Lord. My Father, my Father, I pray for both myself and my dear friend watching this video. Lord, I pray that you will give us strength to wait on you, strength to believe in you, strength to go on and to press in and never to, 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 to move away from you, Lord. Lord, even as we wait on you, even as we stay silently in total surrender to you, give us strength, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name and I thank you for it. Amen and amen. And now my friend, I just want to take a moment to just thank everyone who's uh, believed in the vision of this ministry and you've sowed into this ministry. Your seed, your act of sowing into the ministry will not go unhonored. God has seen what you've done. The Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you. Pressed down, shaken together and running over. I pray for you. May God give you blessing after blessing. May God bless you in your workplace. May God bless your family. May God bless your household. May God bless your property. May God bless even your pets. May God bless everything about you. Your business. May your business go from level to level. In the name of Jesus. Even as you've given. Receive blessing after blessing. In the name of Jesus. Receive grace to just increase and to prosper. Even as you are a kingdom financer, may God bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, my friend, for your donations. God bless you and goodbye. If you are blessed by these videos and you would like to give a seed, feel free to do so. The link is in the description. All the seeds and the money that comes in goes towards the work of the gospel. And we really appreciate your giving. In saying that, it brings us to the end of the video. God bless you. God keep you. God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, Shalom and goodbye.